Hi again, guys. So I got something in the mail today. I got the new Montgomery. And I thought I'd open it on here for you. You can take a look and see what I got and see what they look like if you're curious. Um, and I have some other cards to show you too. Why not? And before I show you this first card, check this out. one of my rare hidden talents <laughs> I'm so stupid I do a bunch of stupid stuff on here don't I anyway let's uh, look at uh, the first big man in basketball the first real big man and that is George Mikan George Mikan's rookie card of course is one of the biggest basketball cards in the hobby uh, but he was the first big man he just dominated uh, when he played so this is a 1952 Wheaties card. He was so competitive, his brother also played. And when he played against his brother, man, he shut him down. He put a hurting on him. <laughs> and then we have, I'm not sure the pronunciation, Al Schacht, Al Schacht. Um, but he was the funny man of baseball. And it's just a classic shot of him clowning around. And we have a 1964... Matty Alu. And Jose Pagan from 66. Somebody threw this old John Stevens card in with something that I bought, so I thought I'd show it. I remember watching him. And I showed you a uh, uh, Nolan Arenado uh, rookie card. This is the refractor version of it. Nice and shiny. And I've been on an Adrian Gonzalez kick lately. I don't know why. But here's an autograph rookie. And here's a prospect card. I guess it's the black version. And I love this card. Another prospect card. You know, most of his rookie cards, and this is one of the things I do not like about rookie card crazes, is he looks like he's 12. Like, where do we draw the line? Do we want to get pictures of them in grade school? You know, like that uh, famous Bowman, um, <laughs> Mariano Rivera. Uh, that's like the worst baseball card ever made. He's in street clothes. He looks like he's going uh, to his first day in high school or something. It's like, why would I want a card that looks like that? I don't want to date these guys. I want an action shot or card of them in a uniform as in a man, <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> Just always cracks me up. Anyway, I got a couple of Roy Jefferson cards here. This is the one I wanted to, to buy, and I found a, a lot that had two others with it. And so, I got the lot. All right, let's open up some Montgomery's. I think there's one auto in here, I believe. Let's see what we got. I don't. I never know what these look like because, you know, they just send them up. If you're not familiar with Montgomery, um, they send out, and I didn't know about it last year, and I saw somebody do a video, so um, I, I kept an eye out for it this year, and I got an invitation to join. And they open it up for, I think, a, a short period of time, and you have an opportunity to join, and they send you cards certain sets like i think it's four times a year and then they give you first dibs on some other things i think so this is the second montgomery set i got that's what i got off the bat and here's an auto pretty interesting set here these are unique Man, I'm not used to handling raw cards too much. My wife's so loud, and you can always hear in the background of my videos. 
She is on a uh, conference call with her, well, not a conference call, uh, Skype or whatever with all her old friends. You know, everybody being on lockdown, uh, I've video chatted more with people than I ever have in my life. But it's good to see them, a little comforting, know everybody's okay, see some happy faces. This is a real unique set. You know, a lot of times these sets, you know, they make them to look like an old set. And I'll tell you, as time goes on, some of these cards they keep making look like old old cards. I mean, you can't even... <laughs> you need a PhD to know what year these things are from because they insert them in different products. Uh, then they make products that are just that style. For instance, the 72 Tops. Then they have the Minis. And man, over time, they just keep remaking the same looking cards. And then, of course, they have remakes on top of that, reprints. And uh, <laughs> I think they're getting out of hand with the reprints myself. I think it kind of takes away from the original a little bit on one hand. But on the other hand, you know, it introduces young collectors to those old great cards. So I kind of have mixed emotions on it. But anyway, that's my uh, Montgomery set. So that's what I have for you now. Once again, thanks for watching.